just out looking over the V6 engine I have there that I was talking about for building uh, the junkyard Delta Crum. Um, I haven't really investigated much on this engine. I think it's a 3.4 liter. It's a GM anyways. Uh, uh, it was uh, somewhat seized up. I've had it for a couple years and uh, I think I paid 20 bucks for it at the scrapyard. It's got some issues as far as actually building the Deltic. Like what you see is what I've got. There's uh, you know no uh, torque converter or flywheel and uh, no no lift, lifters, valve lifters um, and uh, nothing on the front end, no vibration damper or anything like that but uh, I think I can get around all those problems. Uh, it being seized up that presents a few little difficulties but uh, luckily I had the, the handy main secret weapon here a 24 inch steel pipe wrench I uh, used it to unseize a 327 Chev in the past and uh, I did the same on this I just stuck that on the little nub sticking out there on the non drive end and uh, yeah it scarred the shaft up a bit but you know for this application I'm not super worried about that I got some uh, release all in the cylinders there I've been spraying that in them over time and I kept a cardboard box over it and it's in a carport so uh, kept a lot of the snow out of it and stuff we haven't had much snow this winter it's been like the winter that wasn't winter but so anyways I'm gonna do something here that uh, most of you will probably wonder what I'm doing but I got 180 grit sandpaper here and I got one cylinder here that's uh, causing it so that it won't spin all the way around so just gonna sand the rust out of the cylinder with 180 grit sandpaper and it's it's working on it there so if I spend a few minutes doing that I'm sure I'll get it so that it'll spin over relatively freely the main reason I wanted to do that was uh, none of the pistons were at the top so I couldn't uh, measure the uh, the stroke to find out uh, you know what size engine it is another thing I discovered when the pistons are at the top they seem to extend a little bit past the top of the block on this so that would uh, cause a little bit of an issue in that you'd have to grind a recess in the the uh, plate head that I'm putting on there just so that the pistons clear it although I guess a person could just put a head gasket on I, a lot of times I don't do that but I guess in this case a head gasket would be uh, simplest and then you could just go with a flat plate head anyway just wanted to show you what I'm doing here to get her unseized <laughs> 